I view myself as like a as a regular person deep down and that you can relate to that and see that different people do different things. Gosh. <laughs> Excellent. And on that note, bye -bye. I can't create purely unless I genuinely don't give a flying you know what what other people think. But then also at the same time I really care what people think after for um, expanding and evolving and <laughs> When I was a younger man, I enjoyed receiving the benefits of playing more, so the attention, maybe the being on stage, but it's funny, the older I get, the more it's turning into giving, which seems obvious, but uh, since COVID started, I've been doing these um, balcony concerts, and it's amazing to me, I can actually feel a difference when I perform for people and when I don't, like I've satisfied certain responsibilities as an artist, or maybe just given something to somebody uh, even if there's like six people in my front lawn or four or two it still feels really good and then to know that this is a, a resource or uh, a channel for people like you to enjoy it it is really a nice thing I guess that is still selfish because it makes me feel good but I'm very excited about it just put stuff out and never goes and looks through stuff. At the same time, if 95% of the comments said, don't play classical, play Jurassic Park, I mean, we'll include it, but I'm always gonna play what we like. So it's a balance. I wouldn't be putting this kind of effort in if I didn't love the people I worked with. What do you think about our clarinetist? Clarinetist is one of the best I've ever heard. Okay. What do you think about Misha's fashion choices? Professionals and running it down, but with a piece like Mozart, we start dissecting it, pulling it apart, then putting it back together, and it's such a piece that you can never fully, well, you can never control it, but uh, each time you try it, it comes out slightly different, differently. It's more like I'm looking up to the colors and the articulations that a violin can produce. And this is inspiring for me. And then of course playing with piano you have the harmonic inspiration. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a perfect example. I invited my mother-in-law to uh, come to the opera and she said, oh, it's way too fancy for me. <laughs> and it's like, well, it's really not. But like, she can't get that idea out of her head, and that's not her fault. It's the movie industry, it's the fashion industry. The shower curtain she has installed on her guest bathroom says Le Opera in Paris and France <laughs> and looks super fancy with the ball gown. So, this is how she thinks of opera, even though, I mean, when I go listen to opera, I've got a couple vodka sodas lined up, and I'm usually wearing jeans. And I mean, I'm, it's my industry, so I do what I want. But it's not, it doesn't have to be so fancy. And this is frustrating to me because I'd like to fight that. <laughs>